By the way, I think that every beautiful young Puerto Rican should learn the Norwegian national anthem. She got through that superbly, as far as I can tell. Uh, she herself uh, studied the Puerto Rican Conservatory of Music and Man's College, uh, winner of multiple national and international awards. The big deal is she is singing in the Listener Foundation winner gala at Carnegie Hall coming up in a few months in 2014. Uh, you can imagine she made her debut as Musetta in Puccini's La Boheme. I, she, I think she'd be the perfect Musetta in my mind. Ladies and gentlemen, Rosa Bennett. because he's in charge of that uh, F-35 strike force uh, joint project that took literally everybody on the planet Earth. All 6.2 billion people apparently had to sign a piece of paper to make this thing work. Happily, he's the guy who got it done. Let's uh, invite him up here to say a few words and then I think we'll push a magic button. General? Follow that. 
I know one thing about speeches like this. They need to be short, and they need to be entertaining. I will try and do both. So here comes the entertainment part. Volkum til taning of the Norsk Jul Treat. I hope that I just said welcome to the Norwegian Christmas tree lighting. I'm not sure, but I think that's what I said. I'm deeply honored to be here tonight and thank Ambassador Oss and Admiral Gerding for inviting me to participate in this annual holiday tradition. And thank you, Secretary uh, Stephen Glaud for representing the District of Columbia and Mr. David for emceeing this ceremony. Uh, and of course, we must thank those involved in organizing this great event along with the wonderful singers who have helped us get into the holiday spirit. Norway and the United States have a long-standing tradition of cooperation. And the tree we are lighting tonight is just one symbol of our close bonds. It is a gift of thanks for the sacrifices the American people made to help free Norway from occupation during World War II. And I'm honored to light this tree tonight in memory of all those who have served in the United States the Norwegian Armed Forces, and I take that quite um, literally. The defenses of our two great nations are closely intertwined and have been so for decades. Our close cooperation has helped ensure peaceful and prosperous growth for more than two generations. As we enter this holiday season, let us please pause to remember those who are serving today and cannot be with us or their fan friends and family, or loved ones, because they are out there on the front lines serving us and securing our freedom. Thank you. Beyond our military ties, the United States and Norway share, another, share many other bonds as well. Whether it's in trade, or in the arts, or in science and education, or in our common efforts to build a safer and more prosperous world, Norway and the United States have developed a great friendship between our countries and our peoples. America is a country of immigrants. We have millions of people who are proud of their Norwegian heritage and proud to share in their homeland's traditions, especially during this holiday season. Earlier this year, I had an opportunity to travel to Norway, and during my visit to Oslo and Buda, I learned a number of Norwegian holiday traditions that we in the United States have adopted. For example, did you know that the idea of Santa's sleigh being pulled by reindeer actually began in Norway, where they have had the most beautiful wild reindeer in the world? And did you ever wonder why the family fireplace and lighting of a fire on Christmas Eve is such a central part of a typical Christmas scene in the United States? Well, this tradition dates back to what we call the Norwegian Yule Log. The ancient Norse used the Yule Log in their celebration of the return of the sun during winter, winter solstice. And this tradition of sun and light, and then lighting a log at Christmas, was born out of the Yule Log tradition. On the lighter side of things, the Yule Log is also responsible for the popularity of log-shaped cheese, cakes, and desserts during our holidays. <laughs> Now let us get a little serious, and it is time to light this wonderful tree and watch all these wonderful little children, eyes light up. Thank you very much. It's been an honor to be here. I hope I was short and enjoyable. Here we go. Here we go. All right. As an Air Force man, he definitely knows about countdowns. So we figured we didn't have to start at 10. We, we can start at 5. It is that button there. Ready? Here we go. Five. Five. Four, three, two, one, last one. The beautiful tree from Norway, it's ladies and gentlemen. Lots more to go. I want to one more time remind you we have lots more music with the carolers of Greater Washington and Cecil Beck and her wonderful work. I certainly want to thank our fantastic singers, Rosa Bettencourt and Andrew Binlack and the New York Pearl Society for making them available to all of us. Everyone is asking about the scream ornaments. Well, they're produced by an organization in Norway called Me, 
S-E-E-M-E. -E -E. And you might not know this if you've never been over there in the wintertime, but it gets dark. It gets very, very dark. Very, very late. And the little ones sometimes don't have bright, shiny things so that people can see them when they're walking and driving. And see me as an organization that makes sure that young people use reflective uh, things on their clothing and always carry reflective things so people can see them. You can buy this, and it's a wonderful contribution to the See Me campaign. Just go to www.seeme.no for Norway. I don't get a commission, but I wish I did. Okay, that's how that works. Now, we're going to have Norwegian cookies and gluck, which is very important. The choir is going to come back. We have one more guest that I think we probably should bring in here, because it's about time. He also brought his lovely wife. Uh, as soon as I say one more time, thank you to Ambassador Oz, General and Mrs. Bogdan, Admiral Mrs. Gritting, and Stephen Glaude, representing this great city of Washington, D.C. Let me now introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus. Good Yule, thank you so much, and see you next year.